Okay, I've done some research, and the most amazing thing is, is this is my homemade battery. It will produce half a volt. Can you hold this for me, Mel, until I get the multimeter? Okay. Keep it on there. Get it down there really good so everybody can see. Give me the multimeter. So I can get to produce a half a volt just using salt water. But I want to find a better, I guess, lack of a better word, catalyst. So I'm thinking about trying urine, human urine. Because if you ever got to get off the grid, how are you going to produce a way to store your energy? Okay, so if I put on here, turn the multimeter on, see it reads zero, nothing. See? Nothing. Okay? So we're going to set this meter right here. Okay? So everybody can see it. Now we're going to produce a half a volt out of this battery. Okay? See on the meter? It's producing half a volt. And I built this less than three minutes ago. Half a volt. Made out of salt water. See zero? Half a volt. Zero? Half a volt. Now, my new plan is, thank you, Mel. My new plan is this. You're just going to get a picture of the kitchen as we come through. Let me get you one last look. I use rocks to hold it into place. See the can sitting down in salt water. They cut off. And that is a copper coupling. It's only in the water about a half inch. Okay? So we're going to come around here. Excuse the stuff. Here we go. Let's go through the kitchen. This will be my new battery. This monster, this is a 40 gallon uh, barrel. And I should complete this by tomorrow. This should create me a sustainable 12 volts as long as I keep my acid, uh, acid levels right. All right, see you when we start building this bad boy.